VT 7398ED drama arm with a cover up and sub Captain Cat TX version dubbed. Keep it steady. The neutron pod is right in front of you. Roger, I can see it now. Well, I can't. Joe, what's happened to the neutron pod? Professor, there's energy rooting to the external power unit. What? Impossible. This is absolutely pointless unless we can see the neutron pod. You're right. The safety cutout's been sabotaged. Another 15 seconds and the captain will be subparticleized. Captain Cat, get back into the ship. I want to see the pod. Captain Cat, get away from there! Ah! Captain, are you all right? Ah! Now what's the matter? Get me the managing director and the controller of program. Hang on, Ludo! I want to speak to the chief constable and the head of security. Relax, Ludo! That was a deliberate attempt on my life. Go on to the next scene inside the salamander. Well, I'll do a cutting when the model's sorted out. Desmond? Margot, will you please tell Ludo that if there's another squeak out of him, I shall come down onto the floor and cut him into small pieces with a pair of blunt nail scissors. Message received. Morning, hello. Morning, Toby. on the ladder. I warn you, I'm not taking this lying down now! Desmond says absolutely super, Ludo. We'll just do a cut-in later. Oh, fellow me lad thinks I'm going to do that again. You tell it for me. I'm not being strung up Wardrobe? like sausages in a butcher shop. shop. Would this be a good time to talk about Ludo's costumes for duty? No, it would not. Only asking, Desmond. Margot, will you tell Ludo that in my entire career I've never worked with anybody as unprofessional, unreliable, untalented, selfish, egotistical, obtuse, temperamental? Here we go again. And you can tell that aging, balding, common monstrosity. Like everybody else in great Western television, I hate his guts. Thank you, Desmond. The feeling is mutual. <laughs> GWT, God's worst television. This station has got to be the absolute bits. Morning, Ted. Oh, good morning, Miss Forsyth. Uh, looking forward to the do. Do? Studio party. Bunch of press photographers taking pictures of Ludo. Some party. And if the Joker rig that harness is thinking of another trick, I've got eyes in the back of my head. Oh, come on, Ludo. Somebody tried to kill me. Chance would be a fine thing. It was an accident. Now, just remember this, all of you, and that includes that shower out there in the Wendy house. Oh, I'm what this show's all about. Without me, you are nothing. Good morning. Oh, hi, Madeline. How's it all going? Just another assassination attempt, according to Ludo. Obviously unsuccessful. What a pity. Can we go on, please? Going on, studio. First on four um, next. Can I have a word with you in my office in the break? With sure. I wanted a word anyway. Fox. Good. Shot uh, 32 inside the salamander. Sylvia, stand by in the corridor, please. I'm serious, Marco. I want a full security alert. But, Ludo, we all love you, really. <laughs> Straight out of a packet of breakfast cereal. 
I named this ship Rice Krispie, and to all who stayed in her, crunch, crunch. <laughs> oh, Louise, my dear, supper after the do tonight, the pink pig. Don't start all that again, Grandad. <sighs> Toby, Toby! Where is that good-for-nothing dresser of mine? Ludo, please! Ludo hasn't got his gloves on. And the gloves don't matter. Tears before bedtime. And cue and cut. Danger! Danger! Master! Hurt! Bless you, Magwamp. The Mugwamp. I wonder. Sabotage the systems control. It wouldn't know how. I'm not so sure. Danger, Master. Turn back. Impossible, Mugwump. We've a rendezvous with the Zeridonian bullion ship. But, Master. Much booty, Mugwump. Besides, the danger isn't out there, is it, Professor? The neutron pod was booby trapped. Someone in this ship is trying to kill me. Gordon Bennett! Top Cat Enterprises. I'm sorry, but Ludwig French isn't available at the moment. I see you want him to open a supermarket. It's happened again. Yeah, the standard charge is £1,250, maximum of 30 minutes on site. Autographs are extra, of course. Someone really is trying to kill me. Oh, don't be so mental, Ludo. Yes, the 16th is free. I'll check with Mr. French and come back to you. I want a full investigation, CID. Bye-bye. It was an accident. Oh, that's what you think, is it? Mm. There. You will be destroyed in front of your audience. It's a joke. Like the lamp was a joke, and the set that fell down last week, and the Sycoraxian mount they tried to drown me in, and that was Skyhook that goes crazy when I'm 50 feet above the studio. Come mm. on, Ludo. Jealousy. You what? Jealousy. You just watch their faces at the do tonight, will you? <laughs> just because you're going into Madden to Swords? I'd be more than jealous by the time we finish that promo tonight. I used to go to Madden to Swords when I was a kid. Well, mingle with the mighty, eh? Well, after tonight's unveiling, that is going to include yours truly, Ludovic French. Includes Dr. Crippen and all. Ah, charisma. And Mrs. Thatcher? Magic personality. You've either got it or you haven't got it. Yes. You've got a high opinion of yourself. Uh, so great Western television, because without me, this one-eyed station will be right against the wall. What is it? Uh, Ludo, any chance of a word in your ear? Buzz, old Frank, I'm busy. I, uh, I want to check for the building society. I'm skint. Toby, get my broker on the blow, will you? Oh, just a little of the money you owe me. Top Try to make way, Frank. They're ready for you on the floor, Ludo. Well, let them wait. Perhaps you can have a little chat during the lunch break. I'm meeting my agent at the Pink Pig for lunch. Oh, please, Ludo. Life and death and all that. You talk to me about life and death. Where's Ludo? You wouldn't put an old friend and his 92-year-old mother on the street, would you? Ludo, please. I'll get lost, a lot of you. Oh, Jack, Jar Jar, ace writer. Morning, Ludo. Listen, I want to talk to you about the mud one. Come here. Oh, the usual trouble, that old pig. Ludo's getting so jealous. I ask you, who'd be jealous of me? Am I the star of this show, or am I not? Whatever you say, Ludo. Whatever you say, you are the writer, so called. Thank you, Ludo. Ludo I'll tell you this for nothing, the mud bump is getting far too much sympathy. You mean too much fan mail? Sure, that woman is fast becoming the nation's pet corridor. puppy dog. Nice and quiet, studio. I thought Sylvia's character was developing rather nicely. And cue and cut. I want to examine the central control unit. But the Mugwump wouldn't understand the workings of the systems unit. What makes There's you think the Mugwump is a ship. traitor? The Mugwump is a savage. She should have been left with her driver. Background's wrong. Lieutenant Rook, I trust the Mugwump. I thought it looked prettier that way. Hold Louise, it. my dear, is that the performance you intend giving on the take? Beg your pardon? Like a shop assistant with a bellyache? I'm... Can we go again from the top, please? Oh, and Margot, will you tell Ludo and Louise not to keep looking away from each other? They've had another row. Row? It's like working with delinquent school children. If interplanetary travel ever happens for real, which is about as likely as Ludo giving an intelligent performance, or Jack Judge turning in a decent script, I'd like to charter a large ship and put every actor, every science fiction fan... Desmond, have another of your pills. It's all right, pal. I'm fine, I'm calm, man. I'm deliriously happy. Tommy John! Please! 
I want to examine. Quiet! Oh. I want to examine the central control unit. But the mud one wouldn't understand the working to the system. What makes you think the mud one is the traitor? The mud one is a savage. She should have been oh. left with her trial. Lieutenant Rook, I trust the Mugwump with my life. I've got the perfect storyline. Can't trust the Mugwump implicitly, but the Mugwump is biding her time. She creeps up and stabs him in the back. Not fatally, of course. A bit harsh. That's what life's about, Jack. Be an education for the punters. Quiet, please. And Q and cut. Look, Captain. An alien communication device. It's a massive ultrasonic transmitter. Giving away our position to every security force in the galaxy, but how wait, do wait, we... Wait, 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 wait. What is all this crazy battle cat? Massive ultrasonic transmitter. Jack, well, it's a sort of box of tricks like I used to change channel on the TV at home. Infrared. What? The control unit on Jack's TV, infrared. Galactic security of tracking the salamander across billions of miles of space, not switching on Coronation Street. Honestly, the garbage that Jack Judge turns out. Any suggestions, Jack? Yes, I'm going to the pub. And Desmond is do something about this control unit, eh? Technology of the Year 3001 by courtesy of the Southwestern Electricity Board. <laughs> Another Oscar for the special effects department. Time to button up, will you, Margot? I want to get this scene in the cam before lunch. Stand by shot 41. You've got to be joking. I'm still waiting for a decent line. Come in. Hello, Frank. Um, Muddy, can you spare a moment? Oh, terrific. We can all have instant hot pizza. When he's a dummy, Madame Tussauds, right, no, he won't be able to answer back. We can all go around and stick pins in it. What's the problem, Frank? Ludo. What studio Just a boring a studio me. party. The press are taking pictures of Ludo's waxwork. Bye. Listen, he's seen Ludo's gloves anywhere. I don't know what Ludo can do with his gloves. Hey, come on, Sylv. He's only a great big thing. He wants to make the mugwump evil. Turn me into a wicked fairy. It's all work. But the fans won't love me if I'm bad. Sorry, Desmond. <laughs> I knew it. No gloves. The gloves don't matter. Those gloves are an essential part of my characterization. Oh, well, perhaps we should give them a credit in the TV Times. I am not prepared to continue with this scene until I am wearing my officer's space gauntlets. Ludo persuaded me to invest in Top Cat Enterprises when he bought the pink pig. And you want your money back? We'll ask him for it. Oh, it's well, not as easy as all that. A couple of weeks ago, he invited me to France in his boat. So? It was a buying expedition for the Pink Pig, his new restaurant. Oh, Frank. I haven't been to France since I went to Dover with Mother, just before the war. And you ended up helping Ludo dodge customs? Oh, I should have known better. He swore it was all legal. And now, he's threatened to shot me to the police, unless I keep my money with Top Cat Enterprises. One more minute, then if I don't have those gloves, I am going to lunch. I've already lost an hour's recording time with this ridiculous publicity stunt. It is not my fault if I'm surrounded by a bunch of amateurs. Margot! Margot! Calm down, Desmond, or you'll have a thrombi. Margot, just throttle him, will you? Margot, anybody! I just won't be treated like this. God, give me strength. Seen Ludo's gloves. Thank you, Desmond. Pick it up from a massive microwave communications unit. Stand by on the effect, Joe. Just one moment. Hey, David Bailey over there. I know those tricks with the chin. Up with the camera, please. <clears throat> Thank you. And Q. It's a massive microwave communications unit. Giving away our position to every security force in the galaxy. By the time I finish, galactic security will be chasing themselves round in circles. <laughs> ah! Another booby trap! Oh. Captain, are you all right? <sighs> Captain! Get on with the dialogue. We've only a few minutes Three, left. Two, one. Lunch studio! Back in two! Oh. Oh.
Ludo! Ah! Hey! Chaps, there's high tension going to that control box! Ah. Ah, don't die! You, you won't get rid of me as easy as that. It's one of you lot, isn't it, eh? Hey? I'll sort you all out if it's the last thing I do. I can't take any more, Maddie. I want to be released from my contract. Well, I'm sorry, Desmond. We need you to stay. I'd rather do Crossroad. I've just been talking to the controller. They want another 13 episodes of Captain Kant. Over my dead body. No, my dear. I rather think it will be over Ludo's. Hey, have you got that new storyline on the mud bump yet? What? Look, I'll give you some modifications. The mud bump kills Rook. Uh, kills Rook? Now, no, being a savage, he could eat her for breakfast, you see. There's nothing like a bit of cannibalism to turn the punters off. Yeah, but we need Rook as a character. Like a hole in the head we do. I'm afraid artistically Louise hasn't just come up to scratch. Anyway, it's time to write out poor old Frank as well. But you've been working together for years. Well, the old boy's past it, I'm afraid. Since when? Don't but... worry, I'll work out a plot line for you. Uh, thank you, Ludo, but I happen to be the writer. That's what you think, Jack. Ah, Jack. A word in your ear. That's enough. That's enough. Thank you, Mr. Cat. Can I have your autograph? Get lost. Don't worry. Auntie Mugwump will give you an autograph. Mr. Mugwump. What do you do? Can I help you, sir? Yes. Me, me, bro, Inspector, bro, C.I.D. Hello? An inspector? Oh, all right, thank you, Ted. Mm. Poor old Frank. See you later, sir. Miss Sylvia Pam. That's right. <laughs> Inspector, bro, C.I.D. I'm investigating a series of attacks on Mr. Ludwig French, talking to members of the cast, motives, alibis, that sort of thing. Oh, my God! I always eat when I'm upset, Inspector. What's bothering you, Miss Pym? If Ludo has his way, it'll be goodbye to my Mr. Wilberforce. You are? Mr. Wilberforce has a bungalow on the cliffs at Peacehaven. He's a Rotarian with a Rover 2000 and hoping for a meaningful relationship. You blast me, Miss Pym. Don't you see? It's the love that's so important. No, but I don't understand. The kids who write to me, their Auntie Sylvia, my family inspector, the only family I'm ever likely to have, and the lonely hearts like my Mr. Wilberforce. Good God, woman, I've never heard such nauseating sentimentality. If Ludo has the mugwump turned wicked, they won't love me anymore. Oh, Ted, uh, Chappie and Organics Max just went to the canteen. Must be that copper. Oh, my God. I've got some new script pages for the cast. That doesn't include Ludo, of course. Well, do them now. Ludo's still lunching at the Pink Pig. I'll swing for that man. Is that a fact, Mr. Gibb? Who are you? Inspector Prof, CID. Oh, well, I hope you're not too diligent with your inquirers. Because if anyone wants to knock that odious creature off its perch, I'd like them to succeed. Ludo's just a cheap imitation. Like these deadly Cicriaxian serpents. Another pedal for Captain Cat. <laughs> Another latex illusion. <laughs> Recording in two minutes. This is a minefield. Jack Judge. Oh, Inspector. Come to give me the third degree. You're a right and not a suspect. I'd stick the knife in. You and who else? An amputation without anaesthetic would be too good for Ludo. Scriptwriters all talk and no action. Quiet! And cue and cut. Ship is in danger. How do you know that, Mugwump? I can feel the force. Tugging, pulling. Where is Master? 
I don't think the captain's feeling very well. That's not in my script. New pages. I may be a mere writer, Inspector, but when I pull the strings, Captain Cat dances. Who's the traitor in the salamander? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bruff. I haven't yet quite decided. You're right, Mugwump. We're light years off true course. Someone must have interfered with the computer. Mugwump does not understand computers. No, that's the professor's department. Mr. Frank Lucas? Oh, you're too late, Inspector. All the evidence is gone. You what? Quite a preemptive little wine, don't you think? <laughs> Have we got Frank standing by? Cheers. Professor is good man. I'm not so sure. Professor always kind to... Anyone seen work. Ludo? He's never really it explained appeared. why he was expelled from the Just space Just so long academy. as he turns up. In time to die. I'm not here about smuggling. Well, you can't prove a thing, Inspector. <laughs> what did you say? What are you lot? He's out to clubber, Mr. French. Oh, now that's more like it, Inspector. Frank, please. They're coming, Jim. An attempted murder of Ludo French. <laughs> you can count me in on that, Inspector. That course divergence is sending us straight into a black hole. If we don't realign the coordinates, we'll be sucked into the void. Then you don't do anything to stop me my money back. Will you suggest that it, of course, it's someone to bump the old monster off. <laughs> Frank. Our speed is increasing. Where's Captain Cat? Where's the professor? Realign the coordinates. Nine zero zero four zero six. If I can just configure the right trajectory and get some more power. This is my ship to do with as I wish. But a black hole. I heard the infinite doctors calling to me, and I thought it would be a wonderful experience for us all. Mad. That's not in the script. Sorry, love. New pages. Ah! Only you can save us from the black hole. Captain. Nothing like the old heart attack script for getting rid of a troublesome actor. Where is Ludo, by the way? It's hardly like him to miss his own uh... funeral. <laughs> I've taken the precaution of secreting Mr. French. Yes, one thing you can't guard against, Inspector character assassination. I wouldn't be too sure about that if I were you, Miss Forsyth. You will have observed how the gallant captain fell, his hand clasped across his heart, the faith log and protected by his officer's space gauntlet. Cat will rise like a phoenix from the ashes. Yes, thank you, Inspector. His perfidious crew will walk the plank. I hardly think the future of the series is any of your business. I disagree, Miss Forsyth. If you've finished your investigations, perhaps you'd be so good as to leave the studios. As a major shareholder, what happens here is very much my business. <laughs> you a shareholder, Mr. Bruff? Appearances can be very, very... Deceptive. Oh, Ludo! <laughs> I knew I'd seen that character before. Murder of Vicarage, Oldham Rep, 1950. You might like to know that Top Cat Enterprises has bought the controlling interest in Great Western Television. <laughs> you are all fired. <laughs> I hope you've got plenty of film in your cameras, ladies and gentlemen. From now on, I shall take personal control of the series. Production, casting, script. You will be destroyed in front of your audience. You'll never laugh again at my beautiful models. This time, you're really finished, Captain Cat. Joe, no! <laughs> Mr. French! Someone was out to kill the old pig. <laughs> There's something wrong with him. It's only shock. But the explosion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to the comeuppance of Captain Cat. <laughs> <laughs>